Uh, gonna be commercials here, so I'm just gonna, just gonna skip forward. Go ahead and go to the winner's match. Oh, look at that timing! Wow. Just kinda clicked semi-randomly there. Okay, oh my god, I didn't have time to fix the overlay or anything. Uh, alright, we are now mini versus movie. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pay attention to the colors and the players. Uh, okay, so I think mini is yellow. I think that's what this means. Also, people are still discussing about last game and how, you know, you shouldn't have built the core, you should have defended the cannon better. I mean, even if he, like, did everything completely correctly, I think there was still, like, 5% chance of him winning. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, come on. 12 next against Proxy 9-9, seriously, you know, you, you're, you're winning that, like, 1% of the time against, against, you know, people know what they're doing. Not to say it's completely unwinnable. If the guy is terrible at proxy gates, you can win. Um, kind of like, <laughs> kind of like how I lost going proxy gates against the 12 next once. Uh, to be fair, it was a practice game. Basically, my buddy, Elrum No One, wanted to try it, and he was like, "Yo, all right, proxy gate me, and I'll 12 next, and we'll see what happens." And so I did, and I lost, and it was very silly. <laughs> but so, so I'm not, I'm not particularly good at cheesing, I guess. My Zello Micro is notoriously poor. Anyway, uh, Winner's Match is on Circuit Breaker. In fact, the rest of the group, the remaining three games, are going to be on Circuit Breaker. And it's best of one, which means... Yeah, could see some uh, fickle, fickle results here, I suppose. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't, I don't know if results can be fickle. I guess they can. I'm, I'm applying that word in that way. I hope it works. You guys know what I mean. Could see some funny upsets, basically. Now, we are uh, vertical positions, which means that the natural to natural air distance is going to be quite short. Uh, it's going to be extremely short, actually, so it's going to really lend itself well to Reaver Harass. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Hyrule Gambit, I totally agree. There should be a Rax FB build for Protoss in PvP. Just a nice, what he means is basically a nice stable build that is okay against everything and just doesn't die. I mean, you could argue that like a 2-gate Robo or 3-gate Robo expand is sort of like that, where you're kind of okay against everything and you're not too far behind anything, but it's not the same, man. It's not the same. Anyway, I, I shouldn't really complain. I think Zergs have it worse, to be honest. Um, man, I don't, know if, I don't know how many people here were watching when I was trying to play Zerg, but man, ZVZ. I think the problem for me with ZVZ is like you actually have to good, have really good control and actual mechanics. You can't just rely on just you know good game sense and, and strategy. It's just uh. Just gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta micro your lings, man. If you micro six lings against six, then you lose. Then you just lose, and that's it. It's terrible. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh man, Movie was trying to be way too fancy here. He basically assumed that because he had two zealots against the one zealot mini, that mini would try and run away. So he preemptively moved his zealots forward to like get extra shots off while mini was running away. But mini was just not paying attention and just, just ran past anyway. So <laughs> that's pretty funny. And the Zealot dies, but it doesn't matter, he just ran in, got a scout off. I actually wasn't paying attention, I don't think he killed the probe, but still, he saw what was going on. Uh, so that's pretty good, that's pretty good. The first Zealot is not usually overly important. It does tank, the Zealots in the beginning do tank hits quite nicely against goons, but, you know, it's, it's, it's usually not that important. <laughs> So, looks like we got the Robo at the top of the round for Movie, and we got three gates for Mini. So, a bit of a divergence here. Uh, the one gate Robo should defend fine against three gates. Actually, he's getting two more gates away his, of himself. In fact, Mini could event, could actually just go for Robo right now. They could actually both be just going three gate OBS expand, but doing the order of the buildings differently. So, Movie going for the Robo first, whereas Mini going for the gateways first. You often see this actually where players go uh, you know s basically the same build but just 
well, in different orders, as I just said. So I'm not really sure to call whether they call these mirror builds or not. I mean, Mini hasn't actually built a Robo yet, I don't think, so I can't say this yet. But if, if he builds a Robo now, like, does this count as mirror builds? Because they're both going 3-gate Robo. Oh, see, he's built a Robo. See, I, I I don't think this technically counts as mirror builds, because it's not exactly the same. But they're basically doing the same thing. They're both going 3-gate Robo. Um, so Mini's is slightly riskier, I think, because if his opponent was doing some kind of hardcore DT rush, I don't think his obs would be out in time. But obviously that's not the case here, so he's completely fine. And he's going to have a slight goon advantage, because of course his second and third gateways uh, were a little bit faster. But uh, it, it shouldn't be enough of a goon advantage to actually you know, allow him to kill his opponent. Um, he can put maybe a little bit more pressure on, so Moody might have to play slightly more carefully and defensively. But that's fine, because you can see on this map, you've got these nice two bridges just outside your natural that you can hold very easily against any kind of ground aggression. Um, so I think in this case, uh, especially in these spawn positions, you know, where they both have the bridges to help them protect themselves, I, I don't think we're going to see any kind of early game big reaver bust of the natural or anything like that. I think it's going to be a little bit more defensive and just doing little bits of reaver harass here and there, especially trying to abuse the, the area behind the natural. And could definitely see a longer PvP here. Or at least I hope we do, considering we've seen two uh, proxy guys already. And we're actually going to have a bit of engagement here. The Zealot's doing a, uh, quite a bit to help, actually. Um, Mini just tanking and uh, taking quite a bit of the hits, but oh man, look at this. Mini's goon advantage is being the difference here because Movie moved out preemptively. Oh my goodness. I said it wouldn't make a huge difference because I assumed Movie would not do a move like this. In the end, it looks like though, with a couple of reinforcing goons, he is at least, uh, well, not really even going to hold his own. He's going to have to retreat all the way back up his ramp, I think. Quite a poor engagement there for Movie. Um, Man, I, I don't know, I, he was just a little bit over eager there. And, oh man, Mini's actually trying to bust up the ramp here. This could work. I don't think it will though, yeah. Um, with the Zelda there blocking and that extra goon in the back, I don't know why there was an extra goon there either. Maybe he just got messed up on pathing earlier and got lost. But uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Anyway, we do at least have an observer here from uh, movies seeing what's going on in Mini's base. So he's going to see the shuttle out, he's going to see the Reaver come out. He's going to know they're doing the same builds, but obviously having lost all those goons, he's at a uh, pretty big disadvantage, really. Um, and I, I actually don't even see a Reaver yet for Movie or a Shuttle, so I don't know what he's been doing. I hope he didn't just cancel something in the Robo in a panic, uh, you know, because he was get, he was losing all his goons. But, I mean, he's now he's behind on goons and he's behind on the tech. Even though Movie went for the Robo first, now you could say, well, that's because Movie went for the Observers first, which is which is sort of true. But I feel like at least a shuttle or a Reaver should be out by now, one or the other. Okay, finally a Reaver does come out, and it's just in time to help stop this attack. The problem is he's facing a shuttle, which means that if Mini micros this really, really well, he can't just bust this down anyway. Although taking a lot of shots on his uh, shuttle though in the beginning. So Movie's Reaver is not really doing very much in the back. Oh man, the two Zelts go down. He's got to be very, very careful. The oh, but the shuttle goes down with the Reaver inside, and that's going to be the end of the attack. Immediate end to the attack. Man, Mini looks like he's smiling a little bit there. Uh, messing up on his control a little bit, getting a little bit too eager going forward there, and uh, and allowing his Reaver to go down. But Movie actually trying to break down the ramp here, allowing his Reaver to get picked off. And the Scarab only detonates on one of Mini's Dragoons, but it looks like it's just enough to allow Movie to break out here. So, pretty close engagements all around, but... And in fact, uh, Mini didn't even take an expansion behind this just yet, so both still off one base. Both uh, losing a lot of Dragoons, and... I don't know, maybe with that small victory, Movie's, uh, movie's evened it up a little bit, I think. But, but Mini's got another Reaver here, and I don't think Movie's got a Reaver yet. Mini seems to be like one Reaver ahead. Of movie. So, yeah. That's, uh. Huh. That's, I think that's basically the only difference right now. We, we have another shuttle coming out, presumably with one Reaver in it. But now we have a shuttle, presumably with a Reaver. For movie. Actually, wait, no, it wouldn't have a Reaver, right? Because I said, I said Mini was one Reaver ahead. Oh, no, it does have a Reaver. Okay, so now if he holds these bridges. He's going to be absolutely fine. And in fact, Movie's expanding and Mini's not. Mini's going to run around the long way and attack from the top side so he doesn't have to go across the bridges. You can see it's going to take him slightly longer. It's also going to make reinforcing a little bit harder. But I'm not sure this is going to work because now the army counts are basically even. In fact, uh, Movie's got the extra Zelt there, which is quite, going to help quite a bit with the tanking. Although, oh man, Movie taking a lot of shots on his sh uh, shuttle. In fact, taking a Reaver shot on his own Reaver is quite problematic. A few reinforcing goons coming from the other side doing a bit of a flank. And actually, the Reaver of Movie goes down. Movie... 
proving to have the inferior control here in this engagement. He was partially flanked, but I don't think that was enough of a flank to really justify losing that Reaver. And now Mini on the attack here. Mini about to 2-0 the group. Oh my goodness. Very interesting result. I did say in the beginning I was not convinced by Epoxide's preview. I thought Mini deserved a little bit more credit, and here we are seeing exactly why. Well, okay, that was pretty terrible. He did not move that at all, but still, it looks like it doesn't matter at this point. He's just breaking through, although, a couple more good reinforcements. The probe's actually blocking the Reaver from running away. Ah! Money Scarab, though! Oh my god, have I talked too soon? Did I just completely jinx Mini here? Oh my god, he's just gonna GG now, and I'm gonna look like an idiot. Oh no, Mini! Mini, I'm so sorry, I totally jinxed you, man. Oh my god, I was I was all like, hey, Herb Gerp, Minnie's winning the game. Oh man, this is entirely my fault, Minnie. <laughs> what happened? You had like a Reaver and a Shuttle and five goons against, like, or six goons against five goons or something. And he just kind of didn't micro. Oh man, he's losing the rest of the goons now, he has no expand. he's expanding behind. Oh my god, this is like, this is just ridiculous, man. I mean, seriously. Like, this like, like, this is like <laughs> clear evidence of uh, of caster curse. This is just this is just terrible. Maybe I just don't even know what I'm saying anymore. You know, Nexus is our gateways, and people winning the game are not winning the game. Maybe maybe I should just try saying things that I think that, like you know deliberately saying things that I think are wrong, and they actually turn out to be genius. Hmm. Well, at least Minnie's not immediately GGing, because then I would just, you know, so... So I don't look completely stupid. I only look partially stupid. So that's good. That's good. That's always, that's always a plus. Anyway, um, it's gonna be quite tricky now for Minnie, because this expansion is quite a bit later than movies. But, you know, if he just holds on for a little bit, maybe he does a little bit of a nice reaper for ass. Can come back, but it doesn't look like Movie's gonna give him the opportunity here. Movie's just gonna go for the kill. And see, Mini doesn't even have enough stuff to hold the bridges, so he has to defend at a, a much wider location at his natural. Although he does have two reavers now, but he's facing two reavers and a shuttle, so it's gonna be really difficult for him. He's kind of gonna come down to the control here, as long as- Oh no! Oh man, what? <laughs> that reaver shot was amazing, although unfortunately for Mini, it looks like it wasn't quite enough. And GG for Mini, movie comes back and takes the game from what I thought was a lost position there. Um, just goes to show what I know. To be fair, wait, the last time I casted, uh, the last group I casted, there was a PvP and I completely called that wrong as well, so... Apparently, I don't even know what PvP is like anymore, I just, I just don't know any matchup. Ah, oh, God.